Hi, my name is Bob Hughes with JD Squared. I'm standing next to our CNC horizontal press, the HP 100. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm just going to describe to you the structure of the machine. Other videos are dedicated to, for instance, the RAM block design, why we put certain holes and slots where, where we did. Uh, another video is dedicated to the hydraulics. I'll tell you about the hydraulic system. This one's all about the structure. And what we're going to try to show you here is that this is the world-class machine. There is, even though the price is essentially a third of the competition throughout the world, we have spared no expense. And what it gets down to is the philosophy of JD Squared. And it's simple. It's a fair day's pay for a fair day's work. $25,000 for a horizontal press, I myself would not pay. And when you consider we have three something million dollars worth of machinery here, that's saying something. I will buy a press like this though for the price that we sell. So we priced it to what I thought was a fair price. Having said that, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I make my living with my tools. So the tools that we're going to sell you are the same tools that I would use. In fact, if you would ever like to see how we build these tools, just come by Johnson City, Tennessee, USA, and I'll give you a complete tour of the, of the, of the facility we have here. Currently we're operating um, 21 CNC's. We run a Mitsubishi 4500 watt laser, highly recommended machine. CNC's, by the way, are hosses. You can't drag me away from hoss. I love hosses. And then we have our own water jet facility, our own press brakes, welding robots, stuff like this. So we're welcome to show you a tour. Um, basically show you, it really is made in the USA. Uh, but let's get on down with the machine, the specifics here of the structure. The machine itself weighs just under 1,500 pounds. So that'll tell you right there that we didn't really cheat on material. Um, the weldment, the top frame weldment, we're going to talk about that. There's one on the, in front of me right here on the pallet. I'm going to get down there and I'm going to show you the specifics of that. But let's talk about the design a little bit first. What we've done is if you notice in this machine, let's remove this pin so you can see it a little better, there's no slot in this machine. Now if you're in the market for presses and you've been looking at presses, you'll see some with slots and some without. We've done our homework here. We've been working on this machine for about two years, and we have determined that the slotless design is the way to go. Reason is, there's two reasons, really. One is it's a safety feature. If you don't have slots, you can't get your hands and your fingers down and you're holding something. So let's put this back. So what could be So that's another reason. That's a reason, for instance, why we have hole covers on our holes. We supply these, and they'll fit in there, right there, and in fact, you can't even drop them through the machine, you know, so that's, that's kind of nice. But they're there, once again, to prevent fingers and parts falling into the machine. With a slot, you ha it's an amazing how many times you're working with something fairly small, and you're going, hey, I can't put it in my machine because there's a slot there. This machine doesn't have that problem. Now, another thing in this particular area is we manufacture our machines now with a wear plate. And this came about from a mishap at a trade show where I accidentally gouged the top of the frame. That's bad news if you can't replace the frame. So when I got back, I thought, no, this isn't JD squared quality. What we're going to do is we're going to add a wear plate, a replaceable wear plate. And what we did was we now machined out a recess into it, and we have this plate right here. And we're not going to gouge you for the plate, no pun. That was actually on purpose. But what we're going to do is, if you manage to gouge the top surface of the, of the frame, um, for less than $200 USA, we're going to sell you a new plate. The machine's like brand new, away you go. And so that's a feature that we thought was very, very important. The pins in the machine. The, we have spent a tremendous amount of time and experimentation on the pin layout. Um, in fact, I was surprised at how, how much effort we ended up having to put into this pin layout to get a very versatile system. The machine comes with three pins. It comes with a three inch pin and two two inch pins. They're made out of 100,000 PSI alloy steel. The machine has got six holes in the top for two inch pins, two for three inch pins, so you have one behind the other. There's really not a lot of reasons out there to use two three inch pins, but there is a reason to use two three inch holes. And some of our tooling that we developed, and if you've been at the trade shows, you've seen it, we have blocks, tooling blocks, that bolt into these, these holes right here, and then they actually bolt from underneath. You can get inside the frame in, in, in easily through these access holes right here. And what this allows us to do is instead of having the pin resist 18.8 .8 tons of pressure, which, by the way, it will bend. I mean, you're not going to permanently bend the pin, but it will deflect, let's say. Um, the best way to do that is to transfer the bending loads to the frame itself. 
So the machine is designed that way, and once again, when I, when I kneel down there and show you the ribbing, it's designed to, to basically route the force from up here down into the frame, eliminating, uh, well not eliminating, but greatly diminishing deflection. In fact, we think this could be one of the least deflecting machines on the market, although we cannot prove that. So that's essentially the frame right there. Let's come down here now, and I'll actually show you a few points of the machine frame. This is the, um, let me grab a pin here. This is the actual machine weld bit. Um, it weighs 856 pounds after machining. We use, um, it's machined in a Haas VF9, and it, right now we're probably using somewhere around fifteen to $16,000 worth of tooling just to machine this part. For instance, the holes are bored with boring bars that are right at $9,000 for a set of four. So you can tell we're very, very serious about the quality that we're putting into this machine. But the features of the machine, real quick, 856 pounds, it's machined from two and a half inch thick steel. It has double five-eighths inch thick, seven inch tall ribs that have been laser cut and keyed and the keying allows us to position everything very accurate before it goes into machining reducing labor costs which helps keep the price where we've got it at. We also have a bottom plate down here is 5 8 inch thick. Now if you notice that's a pretty good distance right there it's 10 and 8 inches is what it is and what this does the longer the ratio is from where the pin is the top of the pin hole and the bottom compared to the top is a directly related to how much angular deflection you'll get under load. So when this thing drops in here, you can see how much space we have right there. So that's pretty much why we've done that. The other key feature to this thing is, I did mention that it was machined in a Haas VF9, and we do this in one operation. And this took us a while to come up with a design that met all of the rigidity requirements that we had and could be done without multiple setups. In fact, the first frame I think we did had five or six setups. And we finally said, hey, let's bite the bullet, let's bite this, buy the super expensive tooling. We gotta do this in one operation. The reason is, is we want 90 degrees. From here to here, we need 90 degrees. And what that means is we cannot risk removing the frame, putting it back in, flipping it over, doing anything like that. So she is machined in one operation. You can see all the holes up here. These four holes here, for instance, are really there for bolt-on tooling, other kinds of tooling, um, things that we'll be bringing out. Our plan is to have the best tooled machine in the world by June of next year. Within the next year, we will have the, the, the more tooling available at much less price than anybody in the world. That's my personal guarantee. If you come back here to the rear of the machine, this is the dowel pin and bolt-down holes for the cylinder. We essentially, it, it, I can't really show you, but we essentially have blocks of steel that a precision machine, a precision machine that bolt in with six dowel pins right here. A single dowel pin can carry the entire 18.8 .8 ton load of the machine. But we didn't build a machine to last two or three years. We built a machine to last half a century or more. So what we've done is we have six of these dowel pins in this machine. They're held in also backed up by six 16 millimeter fine thread metric um, bolts. This is the care that we put into um, just machining the frame, you know, and um, I think that's it. Now, in future videos or other videos, we will describe to you the hydraulics and the ram block. But this one, since it's about the structure, we're done here. Thank you.